Um, I mean, there are a lot of the overall theme of your book, the four foundations of golf, I think gets to this point of like, how do we enjoy this game more? And a huge part of that is, and, and, you know, and there's all beneath that, there are all these different ways to play better golf as a way to enjoy it more. But I think central to that is this idea of managing one's expectations. How do you do that? Um, it's a big question, but for someone who's <laughs> quite, quite stubborn or um, struggles with that, that idea of managing expectations when you, when you're going out to play, um, you haven't played in a while or say, you know, we're going to be rolling into spring golf soon here in the Northeast, which is always a mixed bag in terms of your play, the playing conditions, etc. cetera. Um, but I'm going to want to play great. And, uh, do I have to rewire my brain or again, how do I make some incremental changes on how to manage those expectations? I think there's, it, it's one of the topics in golf that I don't think if you get it right, you have very little chance of improving. So I, I believe it's like the fundamental of fundamentals, whatever right. you want to call it. Uh, because this game is challenging and it tricks us into thinking we have to play a certain, I think we think better golf looks different than it actually does. And that's one of the things I'm always looking to clarify for golfers, because whether you're a 20 handicap looking to get down to a 15 or a 10 or a 10 to scratch five to scratch, you know, you watch a scratch golf for play. It's quite boring. They don't do anything like that spectacular. It's more like they just don't shoot themselves in the foot that often. They're not like knocking down pins and draining putts. It's just very steady and boring. So the, to answer your question, there's a number of ways I can, I try to help manage golfers expectation, sharing stats, just showing what are reasonable outcomes, even for tour players with wedges in their hand, showing proximity data for approach shots for pros, or even amateur golfers of a 15 handicap hits it to 70 feet from the hole with an easy chip shot with a seven iron. That's a good shot. You don't have to get angry about that. You hit it to 20 feet from a hundred yards, you're on the putting surface. That's a good shot. So it's this kind of fundamental rewiring, as you said, of your brain into understanding like what does good golf look like? And more importantly, what are reasonable outcomes on the golf course for me and my skill level? And I, I can do that through sharing embarrassing stories about myself when I struggle with that. I can show you data from amateur golfers. I can explain to you that you know, part of becoming a better golfer is being on the golf course. If you're someone who can only play once a month, I don't think that's enough time to learn and, and gather enough feedback from your rounds and get comfortable enough on the golf course to expect that you're going to have any major breakthroughs. Um, so th there's so many ways to solve this problem for different golfers. But I think the inherent issue is that you know, we watched golf on TV. We're shown a, a version of golf that isn't exactly truthful. It's more of a highlight reel. And then we have all these golfers on the course. And I was like this for over a decade, just getting crazy and angry at ourselves for all these shots where I look at them now and I'm like, that was a good shot. And you're like losing your mind over it. And if you can make that fundamental shift, then the game really opens up for you. It has strategic implications. It has mental implications in your mood. Um, you're more patient with yourself. So it does help solve a lot of issues. But fundamentally, you need to make the decision that I am playing this game for fun. It's not my job. And that no matter how good you get, I want to prioritize and ask myself the question at the end of the day, did I have fun? Because if I didn't have fun, then I need to think about my expectations must be out of whack at the moment and I need to reset them. And this is something that I do all the time. Technically, like golf is my job now. Um, I don't play professionally for a living, but it's something that I have to do to like help other golfers get better. And I still ask my question, myself, this question, every time I play a tournament or even a recreational round is like, did I have a good time? And, and if I didn't, like I said, why was that? And can I fix that for the next time? I am prioritizing fun over everything else. And when I answer that question, then it's easier for the scores to take care of themselves. 